Hey everyone, so before we get into this video, we want to acknowledge last Friday the world lost a very bright light and especially an important person in this community. We didn't personally know Lee, but if you've been in this community for a minute, chances are you've probably heard of her or been inspired by her just like we have. A GoFundMe has been set up in her honor and with that we'll be donating all of today's profits to that GoFundMe which helps combat cyberbullying and spread mental health awareness. We love you guys and we're here for you if you ever need anything. We're all loaded up, ready to rock. So what a lot of people may not know about us is before we even considered life in a bus, we had our own clothing company. So we used to do tie-dye clothes, pants, all sorts of things, and it really helped pay for Bessie. So we figured since we challenged ourselves to convert a school bus, why not challenge ourselves to continue our clothing company from our school bus as we travel? Alright, so while we wait for the heat press to warm up, let's have a look at how we came to our first design. This story starts back in 2016. I met Jay when I was studying for my master's degree in England. We had an immediate connection from pretty much the second we met and bonded over a lot of things, including our love for tie-dye. We eventually started a clothing company and had a lot of fun selling at festivals and online. In 2018, I came back to America and Jay moved here shortly after that to be with me. Oh, you look really tan. Really? Yeah. We also continued our clothing company in America when we moved here. Well done. Meanwhile, after 20 plus years of schooling that left me in more debt than I could have ever imagined, I found myself working a 9 to 5 job in sales. I felt trapped by society and by my decisions that had led me up to that point currently hiding in my car because I'd rather be hiding in my car and doing nothing than working right now. I just feel like I'm just so ready to, to leave the corporate life. I'm getting emotional. Why am I getting emotional? I'm so ready to put my notice in and just freaking go for it. I just don't think I can continue to live in a world where you work in a cubicle you go in every day, you do the same thing. You work nine to five. You feel so unappreciated. But yeah, I just can't do it anymore. You can't freaking work in that dungeon over there anymore. All right, bye. I couldn't see a way out of it until one day Jay said, let's convert a school bus, leave everything behind and travel the country. This idea terrified me and excited me all at the same time. But I also remember thinking, if I don't go for it now, I never will. So we bought a school bus, then converted it into a tiny home on wheels in eight months without any prior construction experience, which was uncomfortable in itself. About three months into the build, Jay got a job in construction, so that definitely helped us a lot but we still face more challenges than we ever thought possible. Between us both working full-time jobs and converting a school bus, it got to the point where we were so busy and being pulled in so many different directions that making clothes wasn't fun or fulfilling for us anymore. We decided to stop, but never fully forgot about it. Yes. <laughs> Before we left to travel, the last thing we did was paint the words, if not now, when, on the side of the bus. It was a reminder to ourselves that life is too short to wait for us to act on our dreams, just in case we ever forgot that. In these last eight months of traveling in our bus, we've learned so much about ourselves and the world around us. No matter how tough things may have gotten while being on the road, Don't ride the scooter. Our worst times were still always better than my best times in that cubicle because at least now I knew I was running after my destiny and not hiding from it. 
We so often are too afraid to act on our dreams because we're too scared of failure. So we tell ourselves we should just wait a little longer until the moment is right. But the reality is, the moment will never be perfect. The longer you wait, the more your opportunity for success begins to fade away. A lot of times the hardest part of following your dreams is just starting. So if not now, when? This quote has stayed with us and resonated so much with others as we've traveled that we felt what better time to start printing clothes again. But this time we weren't just some two kids tie-dyeing in my parents' basement. No, this time it had such a deeper, more powerful meaning. It was a meaning we wanted to spread with as many people as possible. We started by scanning the exact words, if not now, when, that were written on our bus into Photoshop. After going back and forth on designs for a few days, we finally made one that we fell in love with. All right, we're gonna test the first print on one of my old t-shirts. So this is the first ever Kelson J. Printed in the bus. Woo! There it is, the first t-shirt in Bessie. Woo! That's nice. It's, it's really good quality. Oh yeah. Alex gives it the approval. <laughs> Alright, one done, 30 to go. Before we got into the bus, we had our own clothing company, and all we did was tie-dye. We didn't do any plain t-shirts, any plain hoodies. Everything on our store was tie-dye. So it's really nice to get back to doing what we love. And more than anything, I think it's really special because we get to share this message with you guys. One for the girl then. Or guy. You do you, boo boo. Of course, living in a bus has created some challenges for us along the way, but that's what makes it even more fun. Have you ever seen a more janky setup than this? So we've got the camera with the little light bungee corded <laughs> to the ceiling. Secondary light clamped on with the GoPro mount into the adapter for the camera. And then this is our projector screen on the floor. So I'm gonna run through, take pictures of everything. Three, two, one, go. Every single order is packaged by us with love and includes a handwritten note thanking you guys for all your support on our journey. This morning so clear a lot. To me, if not now when, meant quitting my corporate job that was sucking the life and soul out of me. Never have to come back again. Never ever ever. To you, it might mean reaching out to that friend of yours who you grew apart from and miss, or starting that business you keep pushing off. Above everything else, we hope this message can inspire you to chase after your dreams and never give up on them, just as it has for us. On my face, all that ever was is a rest.